We were going to uh, give Cliff and Wendy a gift and have special prayer over them, but Wendy's not here, so we're going to do it next week. Okay? The scripture Gary just read, if you're still there in John 14, I want you to really focus on the first words of Jesus. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And this morning as we celebrate our communion service, I want that thought to be in your head and in your hearts. Let not your hearts be troubled. Turn with me to Philippians chapter 1. Let's look at verse 6. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6 says, Be confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will what? Will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Let not your heart be troubled. Jesus promises you that he has begun a good work in you, and he will be faithful to complete it. Turn to, back to John chapter 5. Let's look at verse 24. John chapter 5, verse 24. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my words and believes in him who sent me has what? Has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death unto life. Let not your hearts be troubled. Turn to Jude chapter 1. That's going to be towards the back of the New Testament. Jude 1, verse 24. I love this verse. Now to him, is that word capitalized? <laughs> now to him who is able to keep you from what? Falling. From falling or stumbling. And to present you, how? Faultless. To present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Let not your heart be troubled. One last verse, that's going to be Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, look at verses 38 and 39. Actually, we'll start with uh, verse 37. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Verse 38, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing. Did he leave anything out there? He is persuaded that there is nothing, nothing that can separate you from the love of God which is found in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let not your heart be troubled. As we break up for the foot washing part of our communion service, the men will be going straight into the social hall, the women into which color door? The blue. the blue door. When we come back, please sit in every other row so that the deacons can wait upon us. We will now go into the foot washing part of our service.